Hello Sagittarians, happy Monday. Happy fire sign day. We are starting the week out with you cutie pies, with you night of wands. Uh, full moon tomorrow, are you guys ready for it? And we have the, Tori the eclipse in Taurus. So you know what? It's going to be some ground shaking energy this week to say the least. No wonder we have the tower reversed. Maybe we're trying to avoid it altogether, trying to avoid the drama. Or are you releasing the drama? Maybe somebody tried to bring the drama and you're like, you know what? What? I, I'm not about the drama, King of Cups reverse, whoever this is. I'm not about it. And that's probably, maybe you were releasing somebody. And this kind of feels like a family member. If somebody brought something to your doorstep, I think you're shutting the door because you are so much more than they, they give you credit for. That's what I'm getting. It's just kind of like, you're just so much more than somebody gives you credit for. Knight of Wands, there you are. There you are on your horse. I like it. What is this? We got a Three of Pentacles reverse, Hierophant reverse, and the World reverse. No longer staying in somebody's shadow. Ooh, is this like a sibling? It could be a lover. It could be a husband. Whoever this is to you, you're just not in somebody's shadow. You're so much more than that. You deserve the spotlight. All right, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. If you are a Sag, know a Sag, feel like being a Sag. Well, Sages, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Sag and this resonates. You can be dealing with a Sag and this can resonate as the main story. And Sag could be the cross watcher. This reading could be for a Sag. This reading could be about a Sag. And I am so blinded by the light. Literally, the light, the sun is in my eyes. It's reflecting off that glass table right into my eyeballs. But it's for you, Sagittarius. It's for you. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. What are the collective messages for the Sagittarians? What are the collective messages here for our beautiful Sages? What is it? Four of Wands, happy house, happy home. I feel like that's what you're trying to keep. Ace of Pentacles. You know what I'm getting with that Four of Wands and Ace of Pentacles? Well, one, maybe you're trying to buy a house, but I feel like maybe you have a new idea, there's something you want, and you, 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 you're speaking your dreams to the wrong people, whoever this is, and... You have somebody who's just shooting them down. What's influence? As I say shooting them down and I just dropped. Literally the justice reverse, nine of pentacles reverse, king of pentacles reverse fell, fell in between. I caught it with my legs. All right. What's influencing the four of ones upright? Aries energy. What's influencing the four of ones? Aries energy. What's influencing the four of ones? What's influencing the four of ones? What's influencing too many, too many? Let's try to keep this simple. What's influencing the Four of Wands? The Two of Cups. I like that. Could this be a, you know, it could be a relationship. Could be happy. You could have a good relationship. Could be starting a new relationship. This could be a happy relationship with yourself. But why do I feel something? There's a third energy trying to influence their their energy trying to get you to do yeah king of cups reverse remember we had the female <clears throat> okay what's the reason for the reading 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 what is it there's the king of pentacles the eight of wands there you are taken off king of pentacles five of pentacles reverse both taurian energy Nine of Wands, there you are. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Something feels really good, very, very solid. But who is this? Emperor Reverse and a Nine of Swords. Maybe somebody just feels like you aren't paying them attention. Could be a friend, family member. Um, this feels good. I just wish, you know, I. this feels good. I feel like you know what you're doing. Just be careful who you're telling your dreams and your goals and your aspirations to at this time. What's in the past? What's in the past? What's in the past? For instance, maybe you have a new love relationship and somebody's sitting there telling you you're not paying attention enough to work or you're spending too much money. You know, just you got somebody in your business, I feel. What's in the past, Edge? What's in the past? Ten of Wands reverse. There you are. And I feel like, yeah, maybe you're not working and somebody's telling you maybe you need to focus more on work. And you're like, you know what? For the first time in a long time, I'm happy. You should be happy for me. What is on your mind? What is? These are very positive. 
very positive. What is on Sagittarian's mind? Very positive. You got the Knight of Wands, basically the Queen of Wands with Aries here. You got the Two of Cups, so that's the Queen of Cups. On your mind, the Hermit and the Eight of Cups reverse. That fell out. I'm not really getting it. Nine of Wands, the Five of Pentacles reverse. <clears throat> if this is, uh, let's let's pull on your mind. Th this is that peripheral out outlier energy I'm feeling. I don't think you want to deal with it. I don't even want to put the cards down, to be honest. That's just it. You don't maybe want to pick up their phone calls. You don't want to really deal with them. You don't want their energy bleeding into something good that you got going on. What is on your mind? What is on your mind? What is on Sag's mind? What is on Sag's mind? What is on Sag's mind? What is it, Sag? What is it? Yep, justice reverse. It's it's something you've already kind of cut out. Because we, I mean, I got that. The Hermit reverse, the Justice reverse, the Three of Pentacles reverse, the Ten of Swords reverse, Ace of Swords reverse, the Moon. You just got somebody trying to influence their control. That's something you've already, re, you know, you've taken your control back. You've already released them. And again, this is, it may not be a lover. It could be a friend or a family member. It's just somebody you've taken your control back in a situation. On your mind, you're standing really strong. You're not changing your mind. It's interesting because in the center, we have our two queens upright in their perspective cards, the queen of cups and the queen of wands. That means you are in the building phase. If this isn't a new love relationship, this is a love relationship within yourself. This is happy home, happy heart. This is you looking forward to the future. This is maybe you uh, growing, growing your future, starting a business or focusing on your pentacles, buying your first home, renovating a home, whatever it is, it's just making you happy. Queen of Swords reverse in its perspective card on your mind is just somebody that can be a very bitchy energy, especially when they're not getting their way and they're not getting their way because they can't really control you. You're down here in an eight of wands. You're out of their reach because you dropped them way back here in the past. Nine of wands reverse and focusing on you, focusing on happiness. Some of you are focusing on love. And they're over here wondering, it, 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 yeah, they just can't control you. And I feel like they're driving nails up their arm. Okay, what's the, what's the near future? What's the near future? What's the near future? What's the near future? What's the near future for Sages? Probably um, ignoring, avoiding. Remember the tower reverse? I feel, I feel like you're just avoiding this energy. You want to have the... the, the the equation to happiness is to avoid this energy. That is, that's what it is. What's the near future? What is the near future, Sag? What is the near future? I feel like, yeah, you're going to probably get a phone call from them, a knock on the door. Six of swords reverse, ton of swords reverse, nine of cups reverse. They got a problem. The world's falling down. Sad you won't believe this. This really actually feels like, I mean, it could be an ex, but this actually feels like a friend. This feels like somebody who there was a period of time where you guys probably bonded, maybe trauma bonded together because you both went through something difficult. And then your life started to turn around where their life um, didn't because maybe you wanted something different and they just wanted to stay in a certain energy. And their, their trauma became part of their identity. And you didn't want that to become part of your identity. Identity, You kind of rose above it. Strength in the Seven of Pentacles reverse. You just wanted something more and you don't want to be, it's like you don't want to be part of that energy anymore. So near future, nine of cups reverse, unhappily ever after, maybe another breakup, loss of a job, six of swords reverse, 10 of swords reverse, and you're here in a happy place. It's not like, it, I mean, come on, this reading isn't like an end all be all reading, but it, it's, it's, a, it's whatever the current energy is. I don't know. I don't know, Sag. If whoever's in a good place, you might want to avoid somebody. Okay, four of wands, two of cups. What is this? Four of wands influenced by the two of cups. 
Four of Wands influenced by the Two of Cups. What's this about? I really get like you're related to this person. Four, it could be a mother with that Justice reverse because they get a Queen of Swords reverse or some type of family member. What is this? Four of Wands, Two of Cups. Four of Wands, Two of Cups here. What is, yeah, Lovers and the Hangman. And the Eight of Pentacles, working on love, where you got a relationship, you got you got something. This Pisces energy is also your Eight, Nine, and Ten of Cups going on over here with the Lovers, Gemini energy. And this would be the Knights in their perspective cards. This is the Knight. You got something new that you are building. You got the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. So that's something you're growing. You're on the beginning stages of. You're feeling the way. It's a journey, right? You don't need somebody telling you all the pitfalls of what can go wrong in this relationship or in this job or in this business. And yeah, Eight of Cups reverse and the Six of Swords reverse. And that's exactly what would happen if you let your guard down. Seven of Wands. I feel, yeah, well, I don't know if this is a uh, business, if this is a love relationship, but you just be careful. What is the Eight of Wands reason for the reading? Sagittarian energy. Eight of Wands, reason for the reading. Eight of Wands, reason for the reading. Lots of success, happiness coming in. Eight of Wands, what is that? And the Two of Wands, reverse. Making that decision, Aries energy. With that four. With Okay, why the Two of Wands, reverse. And the Eight of Wands. What is that about? What is that about? And the hermit. I feel with the hermit, there was some long, this wasn't an easy decision. Yeah, there's the four of wands and a four. Wow, you have two fours, one up, one down. So I honestly, some of you decided to move and that's what this is all about with the justice reverse. The reason why I say that is, is over here you have a four of pentacles reverse. Could be leaving a job too, but Four Pentacles Reverse is a release of an old structure, something that you really outgrew, something that wasn't bringing you happiness, something that probably wasn't even bringing you much security anymore, something you just you just threw to the wind for something better, for another four. For yeah, what is this? And the magi oh, you had the magician. You have the magician Virgo Gemini energy. Amazing. With the Virgo here and the Gemini here, the sequencing. Sag, you had a reading yesterday with a lot of sequencing going on. With a lot of majors going on, just like today's. I was just going to say before that fell out. So I feel like this decision to move isn't an easy one. So the hermit takes some time away to really try to come up with the right decision. So I feel like you've been in a place trying to do what's right by everybody, but it really has only kept you in the moon. It's, it's kept you in a place where you really haven't maybe been happy for some time. And that's why the hermit is holding a lantern because this is a very introspective card. Um, maybe you've heard people say, well, Sag, where have you been? I, I haven't really seen you. And I think Sag has just kind of pulled themselves away from the, the crowd to try to figure out who they are and whether they want to do and to try to figure out what's next for them. Where, do, where should they, wh where should their next steps be? And it tells me you figure it out because you have a two of wands reverse an eight of wands and a magician. Not only do you figure it out, I feel like an opportunity comes in with an eight of pentacles within work. It's like you have, somebody really hit the jackpot in this reading because you have a strong love relationship and you have money or work like an opportunity. And some of you are moving and you know what? Not everybody's gonna like it. You have a four of pentacles reverse going on here and a six of cups. It's like you're releasing something behind. But let's be honest, whoever, whatever you were holding on to in that four of pentacles, I think they were holding on to you and you were hoping they would release you but they didn't and you have to be the one probably to release them and some of you are moving towards something you're a lot more emotionally invested in than where you've been and not everybody's going to be happy but you know what finally you're going towards something that makes you feel alive again and moving away from something that pretty much was soul-sucking with the devil energy over here okay 
What is the Ten of Wands reverse in the past, Sag? What is the Ten of Wands reverse? What is the Ten of Wands reverse, Sagittarius? Ten of Wands reverse in the past. I feel like it's an opportunity to really change your life. Yeah, Seven of Cups reverse. They really get clear on, yeah, new beginning. The Fool, the Six of Cups. An old soulmate came back from the past, offering you a new beginning, taking you out of whatever you've been in. Yeah, I feel like it's an opportunity that came in. Knight of Wands made you feel alive again after a period of a Ten of Swords reverse. A lot of stress on you, a lot of mental, a lot of mental stress on you. All right, what's the Justice reverse on Sagittarius Mind? Justice reverse on Sagittarian's mind. Libra and energy, justice reverse on Sagittarian's mind. Libra and energy, justice reverse. We got the page of swords. Eight of wands reverse. The queen of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, and the ten of wands. Now, this is a good, there you, there you are, Sag, this Ten of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is you making a home somewhere else. This is you, this is you branching out. This is you seeing what you can do. This is seeing who you are. And it's really going to have a big payoff with the Nine of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles, to me, Capricorn Energy, it's, it's usually a single card. I don't, I, I know the queen. A lot of people think the queen and the king are married, but I really feel like it's the transition. The queens turn into the king after a period of, of building an empire. And I feel like the queens really run a home, run a business. They're the, they're very dependable and loyal and they can do it all. And male or female, I feel like this is who you are. You're going to run a, you're going to work. You're going to run a home. Uh, people look up to you, but you know what? You're going to be so happy because the Nine of Pentacles is a very single card. I really feel like a Sag is really going to be single and happy for it because I do feel like a divorce is pending here. And I feel like you're, there's an ending, Eight of Wands reverse. There you are. But there is a new beginning because I feel like somebody found you. For some of you, I do feel like somebody's finding you. Somebody's maybe reaching back from the past, way in the past, but it's causing a cycle to finally come to an end that really needed to come to an end, something you've been in that really wasn't that happy. And I feel like there's this domino effect because there's this oh, king of wands with the queen of pentacles going on here. Now that is a true pair to me. That would be more of a true pair than a king and queen of pentacles. A queen of pentacles and a king of wands, that's passion, that's money, that's di that's dynamic. That That's more of a yin and yang going on over here. Okay, what is the Nine of Cups reverse in the near future? Pisces energy. Nine of Cups reverse. And I feel like this is somebody being very disappointed. Somebody's going to be very disappointed that, that you're winning in life, but, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. And I, I, I'm sorry for the cross watchers. I'm trying to be more sensitive for the cross watchers, but this is a reading where Sag wins. All right, Nine of Cups reverse in the near future. Nine of Cups reverse in the near future for the Sagittarians. Nine of Cups reverse. Nine of Cups reverse. This flipped. And the High Priestess reverse. Don't hold yourself. Okay, two things. Don't hold yourself back anymore. Don't keep... Like whatever you have hidden, don't keep it out anymore. Some of you need to write a book. See this little cute little book she's holding? Some of you need to write your story down for other people to follow in their footsteps. You have a story to tell and other people should read it. So maybe it'll save them some decades. Maybe it'll inspire them to live a life, to live a life like, to live a life they didn't think they could live, you know? But Going back, High Priestess Reverse it could be a card of a red flag with a Pisces. It could be a red flag around a Pisces energy with the Queen of Cups going on over here. High Priestess Reverse is a Queen of Cups. Some of you Sages, if you are in a, a relationship with, with a Pisces, you might find out your Pisces hasn't been all that faithful anyway. Seven of Swords Reverse and a Sun Reverse. 
and you've been holding on to somebody that really isn't worthy of your loyalty. I do feel like you're you're getting away from something. I really feel like Sag has just really won like a jackpot. Your luck has really changed recently in readings. A really, you know, such a great way. You got the lovers dead center with the four of wands, a new house, a new love relationship, more money, magician energy, six of cups, the fool, the eight, nine, ten of pentacles. I mean, come on, Sag, leave some happiness for somebody else. All right, my dears, and the magician and the hermit and the eight of wands. It's crazy. All right, my dears, have a fantastic rest of your week, and I'll see you guys soon. Have a great week, guys. Take care.